Have you been watching reality TV recently? Oh, everything is so emotional. It's all about the emotional backstory. Where do they find these people? Do the producers just go to funerals and go, yeah, I'm sorry you've lost your dad. So are you any good at singing? No? You any good at cooking? No. You any good at renovating? Yeah. All right, look, we're just going to put you in a big house. How about that? See, every person on these reality TV shows seems to have something upsetting happening with their life. And if they don't, the voiceover makes it seem like that. Like, okay, guys, I'm uh, Dale, I'm a doctor. Dale has spent the last 10 years in and out of hospital. <laughs> yeah, okay, uh, I'm Stephanie, and I live on a farm with my pet goat. Stephanie is a single mother with a kid. <laughs> yeah, g'day, I'm Jim, uh, I'm a sports instructor. Jim, uh, Jim was attacked by a lion. <laughs> and here's the thing, right, uh, I think it's not easy on contestants on these shows. Uh, one woman said that during uh, MasterChef, she felt like it was doing a cooking class on steroids. Now, that's a show I would watch. Can we do that show? That's the show I want to see. Oh, my goodness. Just like, yeah, we're tempering chocolate. Oh, my cravat's on fire. That's the show I want to see, please. And look, at the end of every episode, there's always a host, right, uh, that, that says something along the lines of, it's been an amazing journey. Has it? <laughs> Has it been an amazing journey? They've sung four karaoke songs over 17 weeks. That's not an amazing journey. That's a Friday night on Chinatown, right? That's what that is, <laughs> right? But here's the thing. I think too much reality TV is ruining our brains, right? Because if you flick over to another channel, it's hard to empathize with, like, the news, right? You see a story on Asylum Seekers, and you're like, where's the backstory? Where's the music, right? No one's crying. I think it would make more sense if we put reality, uh, had a reality TV show about Asylum Seekers. Bear with me. Uh, I know, here's a sales pitch, right? We send someone over from the block into Indonesia. They have to build the boat themselves in less than 48 hours. <laughs> they deck it out with IKEA furniture. It'd be great. Then they have to sail all the way to Australia, work out who the mole is. <laughs> then they get to Australia, and they have to cook a meal for a panel of racists. <laughs> and the racists will eat and be like, yeah, all right, you can stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, welcome to Australia. F off, we're full of delicious tabbouleh, and then we'll know their amazing journey.